Welcome to a new video in my home automation playlist and I wanted to create a quick uh, video from this uh, Blitzwolf uh, smart plug that um, I purchased recently. I actually I purchased two of these uh, and I'm going to use this unit for review and the other one is already in use. Um, this was not sent by Banggood or Blitzwolf. Um, I actually purchased this myself because uh, I wanted to play a little bit more around with Zigbee. I have installed a Zigbee to MQTT on my server. Uh, which probably I'm going to cover in, in a later time once I know a little bit more about you know, how Zigbee and especially Zigbee to MQTT works. So um, this is going to be one of my test devices so I can test uh, you know, how I can set up the network, how I can use this unit as a, as a, as a Zigbee router. Uh, but I thought, well, I can just you know, make a quick review video. So here we are going to see how this works in the TUI app because uh, it's um, you know, primarily used in Tuya. I also wanted to see how this works in Sonoff, but um, it doesn't seem to register with Sonoff. And maybe this is down to the fact that uh, Sonoff doesn't have a Zigbee plug. So the, the gateway or the app doesn't recognize a Zigbee plug, but I mean, you know, I tried pairing and nothing would happen. So it doesn't see this as a device. I mean, the son of uh, Zigbee Gateway doesn't see it as a device. And of course I can use it in Zigbee to MQTT. So that's, um, that's actually nice. And if you look at the listing, you can see that uh, this is a 16 amp advertised uh, EU plug. And uh, as you can see here, it is uh, a type, you know, French, it has a French type socket as well uh, for earth, but it has the normal, you know, side earth. And, and the way, you know, it shows here, it's, it's the same. It has a button on the side and that's pretty much it. I really like the physical design. It is very similar to one of my earlier Wi-Fi Blitzwolf plugs because it is really small. And if you have multiple of these, I mean, not in this type of socket where you have the, uh, or not in type, or uh, not this type of extension lead where you have the uh, the sockets in sideways, but the ones where you have it vertical, uh, you would be able to fit this uh, next to each other. Probably the only thing is that if you have it like this, then the button which is on this side is going to be blocked. But uh, um, I think you should be able to fit multiple if you have you know sockets next to each other and the other reason i quite like this one because it also has power management capability and as we will see both in the two app and also in zigbee mqtt you would be able to see the consumption so you can see voltage amperage power and the accumulated uh, kilowatt hours uh, used and i purchased my unit from aliexpress you can, as you can see, you can purchase one or you can purchase two. And for some reason it was super fast. I mean, I purchased this on 28th of December and I think it arrived on the 6th of January to Europe. So that's, you know, like record time. I didn't know it, it can be that fast. And if you're looking for the Zigbee plugs, I just wanted to mention that also there is a Blitzwolf SHP15 and it's uh, also 16 amp, also Zigbee free. Um, and it does also energy monitoring just like the other one it is uh, more expensive i don't really know what's the difference between the two maybe this is a later model but still the earlier model is sold and i couldn't really see anything um, you know anything really different in the specs so maybe if somebody knows the difference then and let us know in the comment section but uh, it has a slightly different design as you can see this is more like i mean it has a bevel on the top, I mean the SHP15, but uh, other than that, that's pretty much the same. So let's look at this one. Of course, I bought this one because it was, uh, you know, slightly bit cheaper, like 17 something as opposed to 24. It has a button, so you can use the button to turn it on and off. And of course, you can use your device and, you know, it has the usual features like electricity monitoring and the timer functions and schedules. And that definitely works in the TUI app, we are going to see. And of course, in the Zigbee to MQTT, you have access to all the data. So you can use something like a home automation or Node-RED or whatever to actually access that data and build um, schedules or uh, timers or anything that you want. And other than the fact that I couldn't get this working in Sonoff, I think it works just as advertised and it performs the functions that you would expect from a smart plug. So I'm not going to waste an awful lot of time with the review. I mean, it comes in a fairly generic Blitzwolf box. Uh, uh, you know, there's nothing special in the packaging. Um, the product feels really, really sturdy. So it, it is made from some really thick uh, plastic covering. And you get the usual Blitzwolf leaflet, like feedback and, you know, how to contact us. 
and a very, very small multi-language manual, which only, you know, explains the basics and it doesn't really tell you an awful lot. But I mean, you know, this is a smart plug. It doesn't take a lot to get it running and there is not an awful lot of function. You can even switch it on and off from here or you use the app to switch it on and off. And yeah, I mean, as I said, you get the timers and the schedules and the electricity monitoring, but that's it. So I've already added this uh, Blitzwolf socket to my uh, to your app and I'm actually using a Blitzwolf um, Zigbee gateway for that and I've done separate videos on that so we can see how it looks like and actually before I turn it off let me just connect a something that I can um, actually power from this unit and it's uh, just a battery charger and put some batteries in it I mean I don't have any better uh, consumption so we have to do with that so the device is available here and if I select it you, you can see a big button so I can turn this on and obviously this thing uh, gets turned on and um, if, if you see the main controls we have a power button down here as well there is also a timer so you can uh, set up on off timer with some weekly repeat and there is an option for a countdown as well so if you if it's on you can automatically you can set a countdown to like a sleep timer function and we have this electricity uh, screen here as well which is going to show you how much electricity it is being consumed through this device and uh, so at the moment it is really really low um, as you can see it's only four watts um, i didn't want a, a hair dryer or something else in here but obviously it measures the electricity usage and this screen is pretty much the same as in many other devices so you can see the um, the current draw, the, the voltage, and the uh, electricity today in kilowatt hours, which is obviously zero because, well, nothing been consumed here. And it also measures the total electricity usage. So that's basically the lifetime usage through this uh, socket. And you can see also a graph here. So it's going to show you, actually, I'm not really sure. I think it's uh, one year worth of history and obviously breaking down by day. So that's the stuff that you get here and we also have a couple of settings so you can set what is the default status when the power comes on so i set it to off and you can also set a settings for this uh, small indicator which, on, which is on the side so it is red at the moment uh, to show that the uh, switch is on or the socket is on and you can just turn it off uh, completely so that's the settings and if i go into the main settings well, it is the usual stuff, like, you know, device information, rename the device. Uh, and uh, if there is an update, you can do the update here. So, um, you know, I mean, it's a socket. It doesn't really do much. I mean, it controls things on and off, and you can look at the electricity usage, same counter functions. And uh, I'm pretty happy that it also has this uh, power on status uh, setting as well. So I think this is what we would expect and uh, it works pretty similar how I've seen other similar devices in the 2 app. So what I'm going to do next is uh, I will see how it works in the Zigbee MQTT as well. So I have uh, some of the devices already registered in my Zigbee MQTT coordinator. I haven't renamed my devices so you always see these um, non-friendly IDs but um, yeah, I'm going to do that. And by the way, I purchased two units, so the other unit is already paired. So let's see how it works for this one. I'm just going to permit all device to join and push the button for a long time to get into pairing mode. And it is uh, starting now. And the new device uh, registered already. And I believe this is probably the second one. Yes, because the coordinator is in the same room, so it has a better link quality. And you can see that uh, we see the new device. It is being recognized as a Tuya device. And let's look at the what it exposes. So we have a state, and obviously we can turn it on and off from here. So you can see that the battery charger turns on. And uh, probably once it starts drawing some power charging these two batteries, we will see some consumption as well. I mean, uh, that's probably going to take a little bit of time. So we also have the power on outage memory. So that's the uh, power on state. So I like to set it to off for this uh, particular unit. And we also have a link quality. This is reporting four watts as well and about 70 milliamps, milliamp hours. And it's uh, 232 volts. And if you want to see how it also looks like in MQTT, 
we can see that, um, oh, that's the ID, so it's a 696F. Uh, you know what? Um, let me just rename this unit. So it's the second unit. So I'm just going to call it Blitzwolf Plug 2. And let me go through the uh, screens as well. So we have seen what it exposes. You can do the blind reporting, some of the settings. To be honest, I'm really new to ZigBee 2MQDD, so I'm not really sure how I can use all of these options here. Uh, but um, yeah, I will get that by time. And that's the data that it, sh uh, it uh, sends over. And clusters and yeah, scenes. I haven't configured anything in the scenes. And, <clears throat> and we can see how it lo also looks like in uh, MQTT. So uh, that's the Blitzwolf plug and well it is available and in terms of the, uh, the main message these are the information that it transmits. So it shows the current, the, uh, the watts that it draws. So probably this has gone to sleep or something. Oh yeah, no, it shows, uh, sorry, it shows four. That's the core at wattage. And then it also calculates the energy in kilowatt hours, which is zero at the moment because it's a brand new unit. We also have the link quality. We also get the option of the power on state and the actual state, whether it is on and off. And if I turn it off, then obviously this is going to go to off now. And then the you know the current and and it's just going uh, sorry the current and the power is going to drop so this is what you get in uh, zigbee 2 mqgt so i think that would be my quick review of this blitzwolf uh, zigbee smart plug if you are interested in this product i'm going to leave the purchasing links from the exact seller that i purchased this from aliexpress but i think that would be all for today thanks for watching and hopefully see you in the next video